first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends here is the video number eight that is on the mistake series video that is based on the topic equation so where students will make a mistake on this comparison value alone mostly i have seen not only beginners even after preparation of uh, more than one year two year i have seen many students will make a mistake on this area you know how to compare most of the values right in the previous two video itself I have told you how to compare a fraction a number if it is a fraction number just I can teach you one example number just here if x value is 2.6 example I am saying if x value is 2.6 y value will be 3.6 which is greater than we can say 3.6 is greater than so similarly if x value is minus 1 y value is 2 right which is greater than always a positive value will be greater than if x value is minus 1 y value will be minus 3 which is greater than here minus 1 is greater than right so if the numbers are like this point zero point positive negative i don't see students making mistake here but i have seen most of the students will make a mistake in this area if x is equal to plus or minus 2 y is equal to plus or minus 2 what is the answer i have seen most of the students will say the answer is equal to because x value is plus or minus y value is plus or minus so we will say the com while comparing we say both the answers are equal to the comparison is equal is this correct actually it is wrong it is not at all equal to in case if you find you can able to see these kind of comparison only in the topic equation the topic of equation after finding x value or sometimes in the topic algebra or square root simplification areas so you will find this technique that is x value will be plus or minus 2 y value will be plus or minus 2 so finally we ask us to compare what whether it is greater than or less than or equal to or relationship cannot be established and most of the students i can able to see they mark an answer as equal to but the exact answer it is not equal to the answer will be cannot be established relationship cannot be established the meaning here is you can't able to find the relation why because if x value is plus or minus 2 right just see here if x value i can rub this area right if x value is plus or minus 2 the meaning here is one value of x will be plus 2 and another value of x will be minus 2 so similarly y is equal to plus or minus 2 the meaning here is one value of y will be plus 2 and another value of y will be minus 2 so while comparing all the x value with y value you can see some will be greater than some will be less than so only we are saying the answer relationship cannot be established understood so similarly if it is plus or minus 4 i have seen some students will do like this most of the students right you can see if x value is equal to plus or minus 2 y value is equal to plus or minus 4 they say the answer will be plus or minus 4 is greater than because plus or minus 2 is smaller than when compared to plus or minus 4 is this correct or wrong it is wrong always right it is wrong 
whenever you see plus or minus plus or minus comparison you cannot say it is greater than or less than or equal to where the relationship cannot be established because at some point positive value will be greater than x will be greater than at some point where positive value is in y also y will be greater than so answer will be relationship cannot be established understood friends so don't make this mistake uh, in equation topic mostly you will see this on equation topic so don't make this mistake again and again so if it is a fraction value i have told you all the techniques how to compare it and if it is a decimal value or if it is a positive negative everything is easy but only area where students make a mistake in the comparison part is this plus r minus 2 plus r minus 2 they say answer is equal to that is not equal to the answer will be cannot be established we can't able to predict the relation understood or not so friends thank you so much for watching this video and don't make this mistake again in your exams so thank you so much bye